All of the clips, content, and media used in this video are used in conjunction with legal fair use of copyrighted materials for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. I do not claim copyright ownership of any of the copyrighted materials. Thank you. Hot water and cold water <laughs> move in opposite directions. <laughs> what? The reason two magnets no seem like... Oh, wait, wait. Has he never been around water? Like, okay. Go get... Uh, a, a thing of cold water, a cup of cold water, a cup of hot water. Pour them into the same sink, and is Terrence Howard really saying that they would they would like go opposite of each other? They wouldn't mix together because that's not how water works. Like, has he never been around water? Like, I know he doesn't get how money works, which is weird, but like, <laughs> he must have. He's never done dishes in his life. Because if you had two rivers or two holes, two holes, got a couple holes, two hoses with water coming out of them, and you pointed them at each other, they're going to be pushing against each other. But they <laughs> align to where the male enters the female and is able to come out. Oh, okay, well, wait, two water hoses pointed at each other? I don't think that's a male female situation there. It, it, it sort of sounds like two males, if anything. So they've been fooled by their senses. Well, so the, the water hoses have senses now? The water hoses can, can see things and hear things and smell things? They've been fooled by their eyes. And, and, they have eyes. And it really reminds me of Carl Pilkington, if anyone out there is familiar with the Ricky Gervais show. Like the original podcast. One of the actually original podcasts ever. And Ricky used to brag about it being like the, the world's number one podcast. It was like the only podcast around. It was like 2005. And it's funny because this is on Joe Rogan. He's like one of the top podcasts out there, apparently. Um, by the way, I don't think Joe Rogan talks like once during this entire thing. I mean, he just lets him ramble on and on and on. The thing is three hours long. It's exhausting. It's I hate it. Um, it's People have been asking me to respond to it or to make a video about it. Ugh, it's There's so much. There's just so much going on. But it's a lot of his, what I call his greatest hits. He talks about, you know, his one times one equals two thing. He talks about his linchpin drone scam. He talks about uh, just, you know, all being in the womb. He, he opens it with being in the womb. Like right there off the bat, that's that's a red flag. It's like, okay, this is, this is probably going to be three hours of lies. Yeah, by the way, look at his shirt. I think his shirt says the square root of two equals one. So even his shirt is lying to us at this point. We're blind cosmically, but we judge everything by what we see. Mm. And what? Well, what about blind people? They don't they don't judge anything for what they see. I think that was something stupid that Carl Pilkington once said on, on Ricky Gervais. E equals MC squared. That talks about ex expansion. It doesn't. It does not show how it's divided. If ever you, I think e equals mc squared. And again, I'm not a scientist. I'm a mathematician. Um, and if I know anything about, I know about like a high school level of biology, chemistry, physics, and I know a little bit more with computer science. But e equals mc squared. If I'm not mistaken, e equals mc squared is um, energy mass equivalent. So it's like energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. And it's a way to, that you can represent things as both mass and energy by, you know, multiplying by the multiplying by the constant value of the speed of light squared. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that equation means. You've never breathed in twice without breathing out. <laughs> there we go. Just proved Terrence Howard wrong again. I wonder if you like that's there's empirical evidence right there. I wonder what he thinks of that. He's, you know, because his None of his theories have any basis at all in any empirical evidence or, you know, he keeps he's talking about, oh, you can't believe what your eyes are seeing or you can't believe your senses or whatever. Uh, you know, his book is not even based on observation. He's got no observation, no data, no evidence, nothing at all in his book, except for all these theoretical things that are unquestionably wrong unquestionably wrong because they're they're most of them are contradictions of other things so he can't be right about both you know what i mean you can't you have a logical contradiction 
you have to be one of them has to be false. You breathe in and you breathe out. They're acting as if the universe is just expanding out, expanding out, breathing out, breathing out, and it's going to dissipate out, and they never include the contractive side of it, breathing. Um, well, I think there is a theory. Isn't there a theory of the big crunch? You know how we had the big the big bang? And it's like that's, oh, the universe is... And there's, there's a theory that it's going to, like, crunch in on itself or something i don't know if it's an accepted theory nowadays again i'm not a scientist i'm not an astrophysicist you know who is an astrophysicist neil degrasse tyson who terrence howard has beef with right now which by the way i don't know why he came to this interview dressed as eminem but he's got beef with uh <laughs> he's got rapper beef with uh neil degrasse tyson he's been calling him out and he's been like you know because you know he actually tried to help him with this book Terrence Howard sent Neil deGrasse Tyson his his rambling, uh, incoherent nonsense, and uh, <laughs> uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, doc, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, um, tried to actually help him with some of his math, and and he got angry. He got angry because he was he was trying to be helped. So again, this is a man that is unteachable. He's unteachable. He does not accept help he does not uh he he finds it to be intimidating he's like oh you either believe me he's like a cult leader he's like you either believe me and everything i'm saying or nothing at all and you know what i've also noticed about him he never ever admits that he doesn't know enough about a certain subject to comment about it which is something that i think every scientist does you know if you were to ask dr neil degrasse tyson not a question about astrophysics, but more of a question about, you know, another field of science that maybe he's not all that well versed in. He would say that. He'd be like, I don't know enough about the cellular function of uh, brain brain matter, brain cells. I don't know. Stuff that he's not, you know, he's not a brain surgeon or brain researcher. He's an astrophysicist. But Terrence Howard seems to be the jack of all trades and the master of all of them as well. And he's he does, he's gonna crush the world economy, which is based on you know this universal tautology of one times one equals one. He tries to tell us that you know we don't know how money works, and he's gonna change that. Uh, he's got a new form of flight. He has a new church, a new religion. He's he's mixing a whole bunch of weird religions and new age stuff together to make his own religion. He's really like um, on the fence, like 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 almost over the edge of being a cult leader. And I think that that's, if I had to guess, I would say that that's where the story ends up. Terrence Howard running a cult. Being in because they were misled by Newton. Who said everything moves in a straight line unless affected by something? Wait, 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 wait. You, you just said an action times an action is a reaction, which is not even Newton's third law of motion. You know, you misquoted that. Like, you misquote most. Things. And now you're, so now you're against Newton? Like, the, the founder of modern, you know, motion and mechanics and the way things work at, in, in, you know, human scale? Because, you know, we can all admit that, you know, Newtonian physics and Newtonian mechanics doesn't work at the astrological scale or the, the microscopic scale, um, as far as I know. But it does work a lot. It completely works at the scale of, you know, the, us doing work all here on Earth and, like, you know, constructing stuff and... Um, if you know if a train leaves Boston at this time and another train leaves Chicago and you know how long will it take for them to collide? That's physics. It works. Um, this is getting pretty long, so uh, let's uh, let's revisit this a little bit later. Thanks everyone for your support. Uh, I got a lot more subscribers because of Joe Rogan actually, and because of Terrence Howard and what a lunatic he is. Um. So, uh, summertime's coming up. I'm going to put out some more videos. And uh, Thanks, super fans. Stay tuned.